Hello, welcome to Talbot Sports Centre for a massive game in the FAW Welsh League South. We've got Cardiff University versus Futsal Club Cardiff today. Hello, it's Adam Gaston here with Cardiff Uni TV. It's half time here at Talbot Sports Centre. Huge first half there. Um, Futsal Club Cardiff are 4 1 up here. They raced into a fast start there. And it is. Uh, what did you make of that first half? Yeah, Futsal Club Cardiff seems to just be dominating the ball quite well, like keeping possession well. Uh, uni are kind of sitting off a bit, but they have been able to cut, um, catch them on the counter. Got a goal, obviously. But uh, yeah, I think Futsal Club Cardiff have got this. Uh, I think yeah. they should see it out as long as they keep doing what they're doing. And in terms of Cardiff University to recover from that sort of, uh, it was a really fast start from Futsal Club Cardiff. You know, they raced into that 3 0 lead. It looked like we were coming back into it with that goal, uh, sort of just with five minutes to go, but then they went down the other end. Um, how much was that fourth goal uh, a real sort of crushing blow to Cardiff heading into half time? Yeah, obviously they started very quick. Um, it kind of just all came at once, like they couldn't really regroup, could they? But uh, yeah, once they get that fourth goal, it's kind of put it a bit out of sight, I think. I mean, it's going to take something spectacular in the second half to turn it around. Absolutely. And in terms of moving into that second half, um, you talked about how great uh, Futsal Club Cardiff played in that half, how quickly they started. How can Cardiff sort of negate that fast start in the second half and perhaps get a goal, get back into the game? Yeah, I think they're going to have to, I mean, they're doing well to counter a bit, but they've that every time it's normally getting nullified. I think they need to get on the ball, they need to get playing if they're going to really make a comeback in this game. But it's going to take something special, as I said. Well, that's been 
Adam Gaston and James Burns here. Uh, James uh, has joined me today. Uh, he is our expert futsal pundit, uh, knows a lot about the sp sport. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching our halftime coverage, and we'll see you at full time. Uh, hopefully, great, say a great second half here, and follow on for all your exclusive coverage on your university station, Cardiff Uni TV. Thanks very much. Full-time score finishes Futsal Club Cardiff 5, Cardiff University 3. What I mean, James, what a game in that second half. We saw a fifth goal from F yeah. Futsal Club Cardiff, uh, them taking it to 5-1, and then our boys, they managed to pull two back there. We thought the comeback was on. Uh, what did you make of that second half? Yeah, they, they went 5-1 up. You thought, yeah, maybe they're just going to see it out to the end of the game. But they did for a bit, but then uh, Cardiff got the second goal, and then the third, and then there was hope, and they did really push at the end. but wasn't quite enough I think it probably was a fair result overall you think but um, in the end very close game good watch entertaining one absolutely and that sets them up I mean the second half performance I mean the first half performance was probably a wee bit got wrenching for them in terms of you know the going down into a 3-0 um, you know loss um, but coming back there what do you think they can take from that sort of that guile and that sort of that determination and heart that they showed in that second half yeah they definitely showed good fight in that I mean like yeah even if they weren't at the best in the first half they definitely put themselves up in the second half and yeah they were good I 
I think they can take a lot of positives going into the next game. Absolutely. Well, thanks very much for following all your exclusive coverage here. He's been James Burns, our futsal expert. I've been Adam Gaston. And thanks very much for watching our Cardiff University futsal coverage. See you next time. Bye-bye. I'm here with Simon, Cardiff Uni's foot coach today. Simon, a tough result against um, you know your rivals. Uh, what do you make of the game? I think the game is obviously difficult, especially coming off a loss, but I couldn't have asked more from the players. Like everyone put in, uh, people that were injured, people that didn't have much game time, but everyone was supporting from the bench, everyone was putting in 100% of the court. And like, as a coach, you couldn't ask any more from the other players. And it doesn't, It's a hard loss, but it doesn't feel like a loss at the end of the day. Absolutely, and uh, do you think that sort of the maybe the lack of continuity sort of explains maybe the slow, the slower start that you've had to the game? Yeah, I think so. I think is more maybe more nerves because of the occasion itself, because we know how hard of a, of a team that Cardiff so club Cardiff is and the history that they have. So I think we were a bit nervous coming into the game, but then I think as we built on the first half, it's like second half we were like, you know what, we'll give it 100 percent and hopefully we'll come on top. But it just didn't happen today. Absolutely, and going into next week, you've got two games. You've got one at the House of Sport against Newport United, and another one against Swansea Uni. Big rivals, yeah. big rivalries all around, really. Yeah. Um, how, how much can you take from that second half performance? You know, where you dominated the ball, yeah. uh, you know, scored two two goals. Thought you were gonna, I, re I really thought yeah. you were gonna get yeah. back into it yeah. and try out the game. Uh, how much can you take from that second yeah. half performance? I think we can take a lot, especially from the boys. It's, it's just positive outcomes. So. Definitely looking for the next game, especially Swansea Uni. It's a big rivalry. Um, there's always rivalry when you're playing Swansea Uni. Um, so, big rivalry, big game, and I think we can only take positives from the game and build on from now, and just hope that we come on top again. Um, but I think the boys will will definitely uh, come out on top. I reckon next week.